We are a credit union service organization, so we are a nonprofit entity that is in place to service credit unions, and we service them across the broad spectrum of all the back-end services they would need from credit card and debit card processing, uh, bill payment, uh, home banking, uh, and we provide contact center services. We needed a vehicle that would allow us to build a mechanism so that we had access to data uh, from many different integration points. And MetaStorm Integration Manager gave us that vehicle so that we could integrate to multiple data sources both within the company and external to the company under one platform, uh, one service-oriented architecture approach so that we could reuse and rebuild that integration across all of the applications that we have. The first initiative that we have going on right now, we haven't completed it, it's, it's very, very large, is to integrate with a major back-end credit and debit processor that uh, provides most of the back-end processing services for our clients. Um, this constitutes about 85 million transactions per month across the different applications that we use. So that's our first entry in uh, using MetaStorm is to apply the MetaStorm approach uh, to access data and integrate with data uh, in that particular environment. It's been in production since January uh, and we're slowly moving more transactions to it. We've got about uh, 10 or 15 million per month in place today. Uh, and given that it's a very, very high critical level application, uh, we're doing a lot of testing before we add new transactions to it. Well, as we add more volume and we add more data integration points, so it's not necessarily a particular volume from, from one application or one data source, it's being able to expand it to other different data sources and be able to supply that to applications through a services-oriented kind of approach where uh, I just expose web services and an application that wants the data will have access to it. So, and we'll be able to make that available to our clients as well. For us, it's speed to market. Um, that's the primary driver. Uh, the faster that we can get new products and new services out to our credit unions, um, the, the better that they can compete. They're small organizations typically, but they're out there competing with the giants in the banking industry. So for us, it's speed to market. We're doing a couple of things. Uh, the, the key for us is the integration, the data integration. We call it our data gateway. Um, that is going to provide us uh, with other initiatives that are going to include rewriting some applications, um, pulling together some disparate applications into one seamless interface for our contact center staff, uh, deployment um, of a unified communication solution across all of our contact centers, uh, and we have three or four throughout the country. So solutions that are about collaboration, uh, about seamless access to data, about application consolidation, those are the kind of strategic topics that we have going on within our organization for the next couple of years. MIM is, a, is an excellent product and it provides a lot of uh, flexibility uh, and, and the ability to really build that service-oriented architecture uh, style that is really going to be required by applications in the future. A web services approach, uh, something that's easy to put in place, something that's quick to, to deploy so that we can get that speed to market that we look for and that I would suspect that most companies are looking for. Believe strongly that it does, not just for us in the marketplace and being able to provide data to our credit unions, but there's another whole avenue of data that now we can potentially provide for analytics, uh, for discovery for our credit unions that we haven't even broached into that arena yet. So it's a whole other level that credit unions are going to be able to, to see and to use for the products that we'll be able to deploy now that we're going to have the ability to access all this different data sources in a seamless way.
The first step for us is the data. We want to be able to get the data integrated across all the platforms. Then I think we'll start looking more uh, at business process management and how we can potentially change the culture of the organization to look at a, a business process managed type of environment.